restaurants are open across the state, but people remain hesitant to return. Viral video from a science experiment may prompt people to further push back going to their favorite place to eat for a bite. CBS 46's Brittany Etney live with that video, and it aims to show us, Brittany, how quickly the virus can spread before you even order an appetizer. Yeah, Sean, and that video is really just amplifying a concern that a lot of people have right now regarding how safe is it to dine out. Norcross still has that southern charm, and folks are starting to get out and enjoy the final moments of spring. We hit the streets to get reaction. That's crazy. That's nasty. To see how they feel about this video. It's like a ripple effect. That one thing is causing all this other stuff. How much coverage it is on everything that's around you and everything you touch. And asked an epidemiologist, how accurate is that simulation? Someone's going to cough. The virus is going to go everywhere. You're going to get it on yourself. Then you can go back and wash your hands, but it's going to suspend in the air for a while. It's going to be on services for a while. I think that's what that video is showing. Really, it shows the importance of hand washing because of all the things you can't see. We all have to make some choices about our risk tolerance and just how much risk we're willing to take on. I would almost say don't go inside the restaurant right now, but if you want to go out and be in an outdoor, outdoor seating, that might be the safer option. There's a new menu that all restaurants must follow. Some key points include health screenings for workers and distancing them from guests. In the dining room, no more salad bars or table presets. Plus, tables need to be six feet apart. And tech utilized when possible to cut down on contact. Guests must have access to hand sanitizer and need to be separated while waiting. They're following all the rules and regulations. I think possible to go to a restaurant, but we, we're, you know, we're probably going to wait a little bit longer before we would eat inside somewhere. You can head to CBS46.com for a full list of all the requirements for both restaurants and all the other businesses as well. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS46 News.